encourage one another, and build each other up. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Dave Brannan. What is the strongest muscle in the human body? Some say it's the tongue, but it's hard to determine which muscle is the most powerful, because muscles don't work alone. But we do know that the tongue is strong. For a small muscle, it can do a lot of damage. This active little muscular organ that helps us eat, swallow, taste, and begin digestion has a tendency to also assist us in saying things we shouldn't. The tongue is guilty of flattery, cursing, lying, boasting, and harming others. And that's just the short list. You know, it sounds like a pretty dangerous muscle, doesn't it? But here's the good thing. It doesn't have to be that way. When we are controlled by the Holy Spirit, our tongues can be turned to great good. We can speak of God's righteousness and justice. We can speak truth, show love, and confess sin. The writer of Proverbs 12:18 spells out one of the best uses of the tongue. The tongue of the wise brings healing. Imagine how we could glorify the one who made our tongues when he helps us use it to bring healing, not harm, to everyone we talk to. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Proverbs chapter 10, verses 18 through 21, and chapter 12, verses 17 through 19. Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. Sin is not ended by multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongues. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for lack of sense. Chapter 12, verses 17 through 19. An honest witness tells the truth, but a false witness tells lies. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. That was today's scripture reading from Proverbs chapter 10, verses 18 through 21, and chapter 12, verses 17 through 19. And now let's pray together. Lord, please guard each word we say so we reflect you and your love. Help our tongue speak words of healing and not harm. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 